Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Google are rolling out their early stable release of Google Chrome version 114, which will be the next major version upgrade. Now, as I have mentioned previously, um, they do roll out the early stable to a small percentage of users, um, with the majority of us uh, getting the release the following week. So if we head to the calendar, um, this early stable was released yesterday on the 24th, so... I would expect we would see the um, official stable for Chrome 114 rolling out on the 30th, 31st, next week, Tuesday or Wednesday. Now, Google do this um, because they say they are making this change to monitor the release before it rolls out to all users, obviously to address any issues before they roll out the version upgrade to the general public. Now, um, like most of you, I haven't received the update um, myself because it does roll out to a small subset of users. But um, when the official update does roll out, um, Google Chrome for desktop will be bumped up to version 114.0.5735.45 for Windows and for Mac operating systems. Now, um, just to go through more or less what to expect, and um, this is by no means a comprehensive list and obviously is open to change before the official release does roll out. And... Um, Although I haven't received uh, the update yet, I we can head over to Chrome Canary, the preview version, which has already received some of the features we could expect to see roll out next week in Chrome version 114. And at this stage, though, these new features, it's not known if they will be default features or will be hidden behind experimental flags. That is not known at this stage, so it doesn't. I don't know which shape and form they will actually arrive in. And obviously, over and above new features, we can expect to see um, security updates roll out, which Google does push out for and with every major version upgrade. Now, using Chrome Canary, just to um, kind of highlight one or two um, changes we could expect to see. The first is that Google is um, adding auto-verify for captures. Now, captures are those little things sometimes you have to click on um, when you are visiting websites to verify that you are a human and not a robot and at the best of times can be quite frustrating and annoying so to get to the feature if and when it does roll out we head to the privacy and security page head down to site settings scroll down to the bottom of that page click on additional content settings and yeah we look for auto verify and it says sites you visit can verify that you're a real person and not a bot if that setting is turned on so adding auto verify for captures could be rolling out um, next week now, um, the next is regarding a couple of um, material U and visual um, redesign changes to the browser. And as I've posted on um, numerously, um, Google is working on a Chrome refresh for 2023. And if you want more info, just do a search on the channel for Chrome refresh 2023. So I would suggest that we could start seeing more glimpses of um, little material U changes like, um, as an example here in Chrome Canary, we have the toolbar icons that have taken on a more modern look and feel and the same applies uh, to some of the navigation buttons and as you can see in the stable version especially with the uh, toolbar um, buttons things look a little bit different so we can expect to see some updates rolling out for that uh, next week and uh, um, over and above the material you changes um, when it comes to a security um, aspect of the browser they could be replacing the HTTPS lock with a settings icon, which I have posted on previously. And most of these features you would recognize because I have mentioned them in preview. So as an example, um, in the stable version, if I head to my YouTube channel, yeah, we get the little lock icon, which lets you view site information regarding that site. Now that could be, being, could be replaced uh, in version 114. So as an example, if we just head to my site in the preview version, in the preview version, you can see it's um, updated with a, a um, settings icon. And if you click on, you can get that site information. So that might be something that's part of the Chrome refresh 2023 that also could be changing. And um, the reason for that is Google says it's to indicate more clearly that it is a clickable button where you can find information regarding that site where previously uh, that wasn't the case. And then the password manager could be getting a bit of attention where um, it could be added as an entry in the main menu. Yeah, Google Password Manager could be coming to the main menu, which if you click on, has um, an updated Password Manager page where it gets its own page, where currently in the stable version that is not the case. And you can do a password checkup, and you've obviously got access to site settings regarding your passwords. And I actually think that'll be a nice um, improvement if and when that does roll out. 
and then the bookmarks. Now, if we head over to the stable version, 113, and we head to the bookmarks, this is currently what the bookmarks looks like. And um, in version 114, we could be getting a bit of a visual redesign. So as an example, you may be able to, as we are calling them, power bookmarks, where you can actually um, view thumbnail icons for every bookmark. So that might be a change um, that is coming uh, in the next major release, version 114. And that's more or less it. And as mentioned, it's not known at this stage if all of those features will be default or hidden behind experimental flags. But that's more or less what we can expect to see, give or take. And also all these security fixes will be rolling out next week with the official release of Google Chrome for desktop version 114. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.